research session, and how does that affect you? I'm Professor Capco, and I'm going to explain it to you in today's short video. But first, I want to say something wonderful is going to happen for you very soon, so be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. Today I'm going to discuss this article. It's an article in, on CNBC, and it was published on August 16th of 2023, and it's by Jessica Dickler. It is regarding a recession fears supposedly fading, and we may be experiencing a rich session instead. So let's see what they're talking about. Despite predictions of a recession imminent, the U.S. economy fared surprisingly well. The first half of 2023 notched two quarters of positive labor market and resilient consumer spending bodes well for the months to come. Well, two things I'd like to say about that. First of all, a lot of these numbers that are published get revised downward down the road. So you'll see certain numbers published like unemployment numbers, and then a month or so later, they get revised worse. So the headline is, hey, things are great, and then the revision comes out later to say, well, yeah, they're not quite so great. So be on the lookout for that, and I'm always skeptical skeptical of all data. So they pick and choose what to report, so be skeptical of it, and be aware of what your own eyes are saying. Now, are people spending a lot? I do see people spending a lot. Um, I think a lot of it is on credit cards, and we'll talk about that in another video, but uh, credit cards are over a trillion dollars of debt in the United States so far in another video. All right, so it says, uh, gross domestic product, which tracks the overall health, was more than expected in the second quarter, and a series of Federal Reserve interest rate increases have yet to cause traction. Yes, the Federal Reserve has been increasing interest rates, and I've done some other videos where I talk about how you can take advantage of that. And uh, I'll link one of those up here in the corner. All right. Now they're predicting a rolling recession. So yet a rich recession may be better described the current climate since the job losses to date have disproportionately affected workers. Let's see what this says. A rich recession may be underway. In most recessions, unemployment rises more for lower income groups, said Tom, Thomas Philipson a professor of public policy studies at University of Chicago and former acting chair of the White House Council on Economic Advisors. And continue with the quote, although we are not in an overall recession yet, the demand for and wages of lower income groups are outpacing higher income groups. Put it in the comments if we are in a recession now. Go ahead and put that in there if you think we are or if we're heading to one. And um, the start of the year was plagued by waves of layoffs. Employers announced plans to cut 481,906 jobs in the first seven months, up to 203% from the 159,021 cuts the year early, earlier period, according to Challenger. Such sec some sectors, such as banking and tech, have previously have been particularly hard hit, and a series of Wall Street layoffs earlier this summer fueled fears that a recession still looms, driven by those professional job losses. But there aren't enough workers to fill the open positions in the service industry, and an unemployment rate remains under a 50-year low at 3.5%. Although we know there's a lot of people that are technically not unemployed, but they're working multiple part-time jobs, which makes it difficult for them to support their families. What a recession, rich session means for consumers. Recession is a loaded term, says Jacob Chandler, senior economist at LendingTree. White collar jobs might not be as plentiful as they were last year, but they are still around. And at the end of the day, even if white collar hiring does appear to be on the decline, that doesn't mean that the entire economy as a whole is struggling, Chandler said. On the contrary, most current data indicates that despite numerous headwinds, the broader economy is doing remarkably well, all things considered, he added. So talk about rich session, we're talking about white collar workers, people who are also making 
six figures. And that may not impact you directly because maybe you don't fit in that category. But these are the folks that are out there spending a lot of money. They're going on vacation. They're going out to eat. They're buying gifts, spending a lot of money. And if they lose their jobs, they stop going to restaurants and they stop going on trips because they don't have the money, that's going to start trickling down. You talk about trickle down on people in the lower income tiers and those people can less afford it. So we have this coming along as uh, some warning signs. If the higher ups are losing their jobs, you better be ready. Um, this is not financial advice, of course, but if I were you, I would, what I'm doing, my strategy is make sure I'm out of debt. I make sure I have an emergency fund in cash and I'm stacking as much cash as possible. I'm not making any kind of extraneous purpose purchases that I don't really need right now. I'm saving up for in case times turn bad, I'll be ready. And if they continue to be good or if they turn better, that's fine. I'm still out of debt and I've got money to spend. So put in, put in the comments if you know anybody who's been laid off recently. Let's see how bad this is getting. All right. That's all I have for you today. If this is the type of material that you like uh, listening to, go ahead and hit thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I love my audience and I want to keep making materials that you are interested in. If you are interested in this type of material and some of the other things I talk about, accounting, finance, business law, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you.